In the previous section, I introduced you to Baxby, the bot that we've developed and uh, deployed for helping people identify the optimal training opportunities for them. And uh, if I were looking at that from the perspective of the user experience, why, would, why did we develop Baxby at all? What, what were we trying to achieve? And basically, we identified that using just our website, visitors couldn't find what they wanted fast enough. They spent a lot of time jumping around to different uh, pages. So our analysis showed us that it was difficult for people to understand what we were offering and why they should uh, pick any particular offer. They didn't know what questions to ask. And this is a generic problem when I'm uh, looking at a website or trying to do something with a computer. And I don't know what search terms to use in Google, or I don't know what questions I should be asking to make sure that I can actually achieve the goal. Because we are a training organization, or Baxby is designed for a training organization, if they couldn't find the right training quickly, then they would tend to quit and, and abandon the search. The other thing we discovered that kind of uh, is an evolutionary process, back in the day when websites were young, which was back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, we uh, identified the fact that a lot of people would put in, fill out a form because it was real simple and real quick and send it in so that we could then respond to it with offers. That has changed drastically. In today's world, especially with the smartphone, smart technology that we have, people are no longer as willing to share their information. So filling out a form is really much more of a roadblock to people for getting to the results that they want to achieve as opposed to something that will help them. The other thing is uh, with a bot, I can focus on the people that I recognize that want something that I know I can provide. So it helps me actually kind of screen the incoming calls or the in uh, inquiries uh, upfront and make sure that I am focusing on those in uh, inquiries that bring the biggest bang for the buck, that are the ones that we're really trying to get to. We can also educate people about the products that we have. So uh, it doesn't take me as a, a salesperson or other resources in the company time away to try to explain why our lean and agile courses are uh, what they're teaching and why they're better than the traditional courses or if your situation is better suited for traditional or for a waterfall. So we could educate them about our products and at no, uh, no cost to us uh, ultimately. Generating new leads obviously is the purpose of every marketing campaign, of every attempt to sell a product or in order to teach people or to help people understand that these are the products that they need and these are the products that they should consider. Paradoxically, if I'm going to do user experience design, first off, I need to know what does the business have for objectives? What are their goals or objectives? Although the user experience is going to be what the customers see, I need to know what are we trying to achieve with this? Why do we want to do this? In order to make sure that in the end, what we are delivering to the customer will help the business achieve its goals as well. If I looked at uh, the Baxby salesperson, I identified that one of the goals that the Bax organization has is to reduce the time that it takes for the calls about low priced courses and books are costing. They're going to try to reduce that so that they can focus more on the high end products. Uh, it's also to guide users towards custom options that the user might not otherwise be, uh, be aware of or recognize. And uh, if we're talking about the things like instructor-led training, coaching, mentoring, workshop facilitation, those are actually high-end offers, meaning they, the company thrives if they earn a lot of money off of those. One of the major goals for the uh, bot is going to be to generate leads for high-end offers. Now, the thing about it is this. I have to keep in mind that the bot is an interface between customers or potential customers and the organization. It has to meet the organization's goals, but it can only do that if it actually is accepted and used effectively by the end users. I'm looking at the business goals first to make sure that I know the direction that we're gonna go, and then I'm going to take a look at who are your customers and how, what are the goals that your customers would have that would match with our goals to help us achieve our business outcomes. In order to understand the visitors, first off, I have to know who are they? What is the target audience of the bot? I need to go out and find out who they are so that I can make sure that the bot is designed towards them. Without knowing what, who the audience is uh, that is going to be using the bot, I have no way 
of analyzing or designing any kind of user experience. We're going to say for the purpose of our demonstration with Maxby, the people that would be our target audience would be individuals, meaning people that are uh, interested in getting some training. They either want to acquire business analysis skills of some sort, or they want help doing a specific business analysis task. Knowing the user's goals, the, the people that are going to be using my bot, is extremely important in order for us to uh, make sure that we are going to satisfy them. Our other customer group are companies. The companies are uh, the ones that pay a lot more money for training because they are usually looking for training for a group, which is obviously considerably more lucrative than selling to individuals one-on-one. -on -one. Business to business is more lucrative to business to customer, but our focus is actually because of the complexity to try to reduce the amount of time we are spending on business to consumer so that we can spend more time focusing on business to business. If I'm a company coming in up to my site, those visitors would be looking to assess our training to see whether or not it is suitable for their teams and to bring us in-house and to train a group of people. They might also be looking at getting help, getting requirements, or doing some other business analysis activity, which they can do in workshops, and we help them by facilitating the workshops, offering techniques and how to do them. Sometimes, actually very often, the companies that are looking are using a training manager. Now, a training manager is an individual that will not be using the training themselves, but they have been given requirements on training by people that are in charge of business analysts or those doing business analysis that they need to fulfill. Training managers are people that are going to be involved as well. Now, those are three examples of the companies. We're not going to really focus on them in the demo because like uh, the salesperson was mentioning in his interview, the people that, that we're really trying to address with the bot are the individuals looking for person-to-person -person training. Now, to ensure that our bot is going to be as good as it can be, the user experience is going to be optimal for the visitors, the bot is going to be mission-oriented, meaning it's going to help the visitor achieve a goal. In order to help them achieve the goal, I need to start to think about what is it that the visitor needs or wants that I, we, as an organization, can satisfy. Obviously, people want money, people want a lot of things, but if these are not something that I can deliver, I'm not going to waste any time on them. So my focus has to be on what are the things that my organization or the organization I'm working with pro uh, provides that would actually help the user. What would the user want? Once I've figured that out, then I can try to fig uh, figure out how can the bot help the user satisfy that need. The bot is going to guide the user to help them uh, find what it is that they want on our site by asking a few questions or offering them a few choices. Now, I'd also like to have some ground rules for uh, making sure that the, the bot is as good as it can get. And there are some good guidelines on user experience as far as how to make things as simple for the user as possible. One of them is don't confuse the user. Make sure that the bot that you're delivering uh, does not give contradictory information or doesn't expect the user to do any complex steps. Other thing that users absolutely hate is wasting my time. If I have the feeling that the bot is not going to get me where I need to go as quickly as possible, I'm going to start looking for a way to talk to a human being. Or if I can't find that real quick, I'm off your site. I'm going to go look for somebody else. I'll go to one of your competitors and see if they can't help me better. Finally, I don't know a whole lot about your website if I'm a visitor. And so I need help. I need you to guide me to where I need to go. The questions, the options that you are offering me in the bot have to make sense to me in my situation. I have to be able to recognize that you are building towards something. As we're going along, as you're guiding me toward the uh, offer that is going to fit my needs, I need to know where we're going. I need to have the ability to follow along. It has to make sense to me as the visitor.